garbage are things considered to be worthless and meaningless. But one municipality is determined to be a key adherent of a zero-waste vision. San Miguel, Bulacan Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Bahagi ng aking nine-point agenda ang malinis at lunti ang kapanigilan. Nais kong maging masigla ang bawat mamamaya ng bayan ng San Miguel at magagawa lamang natin ito kung ang bawat isa ay ligtas sa anumang karamdaman, mayroong malinis na kapanigilan at may wastong kaalaman. This is a Material Recovery Facility, or MRF. It is now the municipality's central area for its waste program. The MRF is a unique machine that receives, separates, and prepares almost all waste materials and turns them into things with worth and meaning. So, ito po yung uh, Material Recovery Facility ng uh, San Miguel Bulacan at dito po natin dinadala yung mga basura na nabubulok at ito po ay isusubo natin dito sa masinaito. Ito po yung uh, tinatawag nating biodegradable shredder. For the biodegradable waste, the process starts by shredding it. Inside the machine is where everything follows. Sorting, hammering, and filtering. The composition of the waste is changed in the process by uplifting the nutrients needed. Two byproducts would be the result of the process. First, the liquid product is called foliar conditioner. It can be used by spraying directly to root crops and plants. Second, the dry product is called soil conditioner, which can be used for large-scale farming. The byproducts are guaranteed by the Department of Agriculture as organic and possess high levels of healthy nutrients such as calcium and potassium. An estimated 2 to 3 70 kilogram sacks of organic fertilizer can be produced with a ton of biodegradable waste. So ito po yung uh, tinatawag nating waste pulverizer. Ito po yung makina na kung saan ang mga pinapasok natin ditong basura ay lahat ng hindi nabubulok. For non-biodegradable waste, the process is almost the same but simpler. It starts and ends with the machine pulverizing the non-bio materials such as rubber, plastic, tires, glass bottles, and even diapers. Any metal objects, however, are strictly not allowed. Once the machine finishes pulverizing its one-ton capacity, we are now ready to harvest the end product and use it for creating bricks. Are they construction quality, you ask? Yes, they are. Ten tons of non-biodegradable waste can be converted into at least 22,000 pieces of solid bricks. And the municipality of San Miguel is already using these bricks on some of their construction projects. Right now, it is the only material recovery facility in San Miguel, Bulacan. San Miguel Bulacan is one step closer to their zero-waste vision. When will your city be?